Hey boys and girls, it is Miss Bedford here and today I wanted to do a little lesson with you. So today we're going to be reading a poem by Maya Angelou and it is entitled Life Doesn't Frighten Me. All right, let's get started. Today, while we're reading our poem, we're going to be looking closely at the text and we're going to be finding examples and drawing inferences while we are reading. Before we get started, I just wanted to spend a second to review what it means to infer. And so all inferring is, is it takes what I already know and it adds it to what is in the text. So it's as simple as that. I know something already by maybe I read something about it and maybe I've had an experience with something. And then I'm reading a text and I kind of put those two things together. All right, so... I have a picture for you. I want you to look at the picture and then I'm going to model how I can do some inferring from the picture. So take a look at this picture. Yikes. So I see um, it looks like there is a whole entire house turned on its side. Um, definitely doesn't look right. I see things hanging out of windows. I see wood kind of splintered all over the place. The roof is torn off on that building. There's definitely some damage. So remember, I'm going to take what I already know and I'm going to put it with what the clues are from the text or in this case, the picture. So here's something I know. I see that something massive must have hit that house to be able to knock it completely over, right? And I know, I happen to already know in my schema that water is a pretty powerful thing. And I'm pretty sure that this was caused by a tsunami. What do you all think? Okay, so right there, I did a simple inferring um, thought. I had some simple inferring thoughts. Let me keep going. I have a few more thoughts about this. So another thing I think, since I think it's a tsunami, I also know that tsunamis occur in the ocean. And I can infer that the location of this picture is on the coast somewhere. And I happen to know already from a few years back that there was a huge tsunami that occurred in Japan and it caused a lot of damage. So I may infer that this was a picture from that Japanese tsunami, but I could be wrong because I don't know that for sure, but I'm inferring. All right, one more thing. I also can draw the conclusion, I know that you can't see this completely, but I also can draw the conclusion that probably a lot of people got hurt during this natural disaster because I know tsunamis are super powerful and they're super dangerous. So right there looking at that picture, I had a lot of thoughts in my brain. So doing it with pictures is easy. Well, guess what? We can do it with text too. So remember our story that we're reading today um, is Life Doesn't Frighten Me by Maya Angelou. And you'll notice that this is a poem. That's our genre. And it's divided into a lot of stanzas. So on this page, I kind of split it up for us. There's five stanzas on this slide. And then, oh, I don't want to go through all that yet. And then there's several more stanzas on the next slide. There's a total of 12 stanzas. That's how she splits it up. So let's take a look at stanzas one through four first. So let's read it. Shadows on the wall, noises down the hall. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Bad dogs barking loud, big ghosts in a cloud. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Mean old mother goose. Lions on the loose, they don't frighten me at all. Dragons breathing flame on my counterpane, that does not frighten me at all. Let me just spend a minute talking to you about counterpane. A counterpane, that might be a word you've never heard before. A counterpane is a bedspread. So dragons breathing flame on my counterpane, that doesn't frighten me at all um, on my bedspread. Okay, so moving on, let's do some inferring. So here's what I know. I know that reading is not just reading words, it's also thinking. So I see some things that I look out for, repeated words. When I see repeated words as a reader, I go, ah, I need to pay attention to that. 
So I see life doesn't frighten me at all. 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 So I know that's super important. So when what I think the poet is trying to tell me by repeating that over and over is that um, life isn't scary to this person. And Maya Angelou is a woman. So I think that she's not afraid of life. And, you know, sometimes life can throw things at you. She's not afraid of it. So now let me look out um, the other two things in these stanzas. I see shadows on the wall, noises down the hall, bad dogs barking loud, big ghosts in a cloud, mean old mother goose, lions on the loose, dragons breathing flame on my counterpane. So all those things have something in common too. I can put all that together that are highlighted in um, green and I can kind of think, well, she's just explaining all these things, bad things that could happen to her in life or that are scary, like creepy noises, scary shadows, bad dogs, big ghosts, lions. All those things are kind of scary. All right. So in the purple, the conclusion that I drew is that she's not frightened by bad things in her life. And I know life can throw bad things at you, but she doesn't get scared by them. Now... In the bluish, greenish color, she describes all those things that are scary. Okay, so that's my thinking. Now I want you guys to try. So in stanza five, so right here, I'll move my mouse so it doesn't make that black box. In stanza five, what is the poet trying to tell the reader? Hmm. Okay, let's read it. I go boo. I'm make, not sure I understand. Whoop. I go boo. I make them shoo. I make fun. Way they run. I won't cry. So they fly. I just smile. They go wild. Hmm. What do you think the poet is trying to tell the reader? So a little box will pop up on the right side, and I want you to kind of jot down your thoughts. What do you think? Um, kind of do exactly what I did up here myself. What are some things you think the poet is trying to say right there? Okay, so some thoughts that I had is that um, she is talking about her response, like how she's reacting when bad things happen to her. Look at what they say. Way they run, I won't cry. So one of the things she's not going to do is she's not going to respond um, by crying. And it also says that she's just going to smile. And that's going to make them go wild. Okay. So let's stop right there. You guys did great. I love all your thinking. Um, and I'll be back in the next lesson to keep reading through our stanzas. Great job, guys.